the years, I've certainly received bizarre advice. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. That's a great bit of advice. Well, the advice was uh, in terms of getting an education. You know who your friends are because they listen more than they talk. No means no is the classic. My dad told me that if you'd love what you do, you never work a day in your life, so. I used to study with a drum teacher named uh, Jim Blackley, and a lot of his advice had nothing to do with drumming, had nothing to do with music. It was all life advice. I'm gonna have to go with my dad. It wasn't so much anything that he said, he led by example. No matter what happened in life or how, how bad things were or how much trouble I was causing or whatnot, would wake up every day and go to work. Because like my dad really loves my mom. And growing up, I never saw my, my dad hurt my mom physically. Always give 100% to whatever I do, no matter what the circumstance. And if you find that you can't do that, then it's time to step away. I think that that it was sort of a, my, my household was an equal opportunity household, which meant that um, people were to be treated in a certain way. And that included men, it included women, it included children. He had a real traditional kind of thing of like, how to, of, of how to respect women. We see all kinds of things now, you know, or, or ways to sort of separate who I am from who you are, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I never really bought into that so much where we go, okay, well, you treat women this way, you treat guys this way. Open ears and open mind, open heart, uh, respect. Um, you'll get that back. Actually, my dad's my hero. It's like seeing him, like how he did it, like how he managed to uh, love our family as a whole unit. It's really give me inspiration to do it in the future.